hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to break down javascript object methods by grouping them into three main categories one is general methods second one is property manage of management methods third one is object protection methods okay this is super useful for anyone looking to master javascript objects and write cleaner more maintainable code let's dive in starting with the general methods the general methods in javascript are commonly used to work with objects in a broad flexible way these methods either create transform or retrieve data from objects here's a quick rundown of the most important ones the first one is the first one is object dot assign so this method is a great for copying properties from one object to another object you can think of it as a way to match objects it is very useful when you want to create new object with the properties of an existing one or when you are combining multiple objects into one for example if you see here for example yeah this one for example if you want to assign object one here in this example what we are doing is we are creating a new object the, we are creating a new object new object that has all the properties of object one and object two if you see the syntax here the thing is the assign method takes two objects one is target object and then one is source object what we are going to do here is we simply copies properties from a source to target so in the similar way if you see this example these are the sources object one object two so now we want to combine them into one object and then form single object so that is about object dot assign method the second one is object dot create object dot create if you want to create a new object that inherits directly from an existing object object dot create is the way to go this method is excellent when working with object oriented programming patterns in javascript for example if you see here we are creating a new object from an existing object okay here it simply creates a new object that inherits from existing object that inherits from existing object and the next one is object dot entries object dot entries the third one is object dot entries this method this method returns an array of key value pairs from an object each key and value is grouped into in is grouped in a two element array which is perfect for iterating over an object an object for example if you see here if you see here what we are doing here is we are actually passing an object to this entries method which will return an array which will return an array of key value pair so this is the object we are passing to entries method which will return an array of key value pairs okay a an array of key value pairs the next one is object dot from entries object dot from entries if you got if you have an array if you have an array of key value pairs and want to convert into an object then object dot from entries is the best option it's often used in conjunction with object dot entries to transform data structures to transform data structures for example if you see here if you see here we are passing an array of key value pair to object dot from entries method which in which returns an object which returns an object okay and the next one is object dot object dot keys object dot keys method this method returns an array containing the keys of an object it's a simple but effective way to get all the properties property names of an object example if you see here 
object dot kiss we are passing an object we are passing an object and then this method returns the property names that is a b an array of property names so the next method is object dot values it's similar to object dot keys instead of returning instead of keys it returns an array of the value of the properties in the object for example if you see here we are passing an object containing two va two values a uh, two uh, values this returns only an array of values that is one and two and the final one is object dot group by object dot group by this one's a little more advanced and groups the elements of an object and groups the elements of an object according to a function you define it's especially handy when you want to organize object properties based on specific criteria this i'll show you when i uh, when i go to demo clearly with an example how exactly this object dot group by is useful so okay now let's dive into examples that is demo okay the first one is for the object dot assign let me create let me create an object let me create an object to demonstrate object dot assign method for that const person equal to so first name first name ram last name raj age 50 color let's say eye color blue okay blue so this is the object now i want to create i want to assign i want to assign let me create one more uh, object person 1 equal to first name ramesh last name ra ramesh raj okay this is the second object now what i want to do is i simply i simply want to assign i simply want to assign the first object that is person one object to person object okay for that what i going to do is object dot assign object dot assign so the first parameter is target so we want to assign the properties of person one to person so the target is person person object so we want to assign the properties from source that is person one person one now if i print if i print this object that is person object in console let me show you console.log person object let me open console okay now if you see here let me refresh see here we go we what we did here is we simply copy the properties of person 1 properties of person 1 to person and it overrides the values of first name and last name see the actual values of person uh, object first name and last name are ram raj but uh, person 1 first name and last name are ramesh raj so it simply copied those property values and then created new object okay this is about this is about 
object dot assign next one is object dot create object dot create for that what i can do is i can simply let's say i can simply use console dot log sorry yeah console dot log object dot create i want to create i want to create an object new object or inherits the properties from existing object and then create a new object okay for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new object from person object okay let me use this person now if i print see i can see a new object got created of prototype and the object and the object type is it's a prototype object okay it created a new object it created a new object with the same properties and values of person object so now the thing is next one is object dot entries so what it uh, do is it simply returns an array of key value pair okay let me print let me print console dot log object dot entries for which i'm gonna i gonna pass person object same person object so which should return an array of key value pairs see here it's an array with key value pairs first name ramesh last name raj age 50 eye color blue so it's an array it written an array of key value pairs an array of key value pairs next object dot from entries for which what i'm going to do is okay let me drag this down so object dot from entries so this actually creates an object from a list of key value pairs that is from an array of key value pairs for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an array okay array object which is an array of key value pairs array of key value pairs so for which let's say name name ravi age 30 salary Twenty thousand. Okay. Now this is an array. Now I want to create an object from this, for which person three object from object dot entries object dot from entries from entries for which I'm going to pass this array. I'm going to pass this array. So now this returns an object. Let me print to console person 3 let's see here see now we got an object we got an object from an array of key value pairs so from interest is very useful if you want to convert an object from an array of key value pairs now the next method is object dot keys okay what i can do is i can simply use console dot log and then object dot keys for which i'm passing this person three object okay which we created just now and then save see here now we got all the keys we got all the keys of object which we created earlier and the keys are name age salary so in the similar way if i want to extract values i can simply use object dot values which will return which will return the values of a given object which will return the values of given object see i got all the values so now let me explain you how this object dot group by works so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one of one one array i'm going to take one array okay 
or let me create const scores equal to <coughs> sorry I am going to create name Sachin score 120 okay in the similar way let me copy so the second one is Rahul score 70 Rohit score 35 next is Kohili score is 110 final property is Dhoni score is 60 so now what I would like to do is what I would like to do is I would like to divide this or group this object into two categories one is the persons who scored more than 100 into a good category and then less than 100 into ok category for that what I can do is I can create a callback function callback function ok for which I will be passing score property score property and then I am I am going to I am going to return I am going to return sorry who as I mean into two categories I am going to return in or separate into two categories score greater than 100 score greater than 100 into good category and then less than 100 into ok category ok this will return or separate our object into two categories now let me print or let me call first I mean I should call group by two group them into two categories or two groups ok for that what I am going to do is simply object dot group by object dot group by for which I will be passing the object which we want to group by that is scores and then callback function the criteria so it's a criteria according to which we want to group okay now let me print console dot log sorry console dot log console dot log one sec this returns two categories right I should roll them into result object so result dot good so let me print first result dot good see here we got the objects the object values that is Sachin and then Kohli if you see here out of these five values in object we can see only Sachin and Kohli scored more than 100 so that is the reason we got these two properties and let me print the other one as well ok category if I print that see I got three three values here an array of three objects here an array of two objects there is see the our array contains total five objects out of five we would like to divide them into two categories based on a criteria and the criteria is who scored 100 uh, put them into good category who scored less than 100 put them into ok category so we divided them according to our criteria and then we print them into console if you see here so this is how the object of group by function is very useful if you want to if you want to group your object according to a criteria okay this is all about uh, our javascript object methods today we discussed about general methods so in the next video 
I'll be discussing about the next criteria, next uh, set of uh, methods that is property management methods and then after that I'll be discussing in the coming videos that is object production methods. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please do subscribe and like the video. If you have anything, please drop in comments. I'll see and then reply back. Thank you. Thank you again.